So today we're looking at x and y intercepts and what are they, how to use them, how to graph them. Okay. So we've worked with y intercept before. So if we say what are the y intercepts here, what is the y intercepts here? Well, you would tell me to go where the line crosses the y intercept, the y. Right? Intercepts are right here. So in this case, the y-intercept would equal 4, right? And the x-intercept, well, if the, if the y-intercept was when it crosses the y-axis, logic might tell you that the x-intercept is when it crosses the x-axis. So in this case, x is negative 2. So those are your intercepts, right? Of course, why would you? Sometimes I don't understand this. Right? So there you go. So these here, that's the worst set of funny brackets ever. These are your intercepts. Right? So if we take a look though, there's a kind of special feature or something that interesting that happens here. When the x-intercept occurs, so if we take a look when the x-intercept occurs right here, it could be right here, it could be right here, anywhere along this line is where the x-intercept occurs. It never happens above the line because if it happened here, it wouldn't cross the x-axis. It wouldn't happen down here because it's not intercepting anything. But if you look all along all, every one of these points, what's the y value? Well, if I put a point here, that'd be negative 10 and the y would be 0. If I put a point here, this would be 6 and the y would be 0. If I put a point here, it would be 2 and the y would be 0. So when the x-intercept occurs, the y value is always 0. And just like it, when the y-intercept occurs, so any number along the y-axis, the x value is zero. So these are two points you need to remember, this, this little piece of information. So when the x-intercept occurs, the y is zero. When the y-intercept occurs, the x is zero. Those will come in the, in the use right away. Now, if we had slope-intercept form, could we find our y and x intercepts and graph it? Well, yes. Logic says, and you're probably screaming at it saying, oh, that's our y intercept. We've worked with that a ton, right? But why? Now, if we take a look here, let me find the y intercept here. I'll put a y. If we go, the y intercept occurs when the x is equal to zero, well, that would mean y equals 3, and the y-intercept occurs, this would be 0, plus 10. So y would equal 0 plus 10, y equals 10. So you're right, that was our, our y-intercept, but here's kind of the explanation why. So if I were to graph this, of course I picked the wrong one, it would be up here. It's going up by 2s. So I'm going to put a point right there. Now. Let's find the x-intercept. Okay, so let's take a look here. When the x-intercept occurs, the y value is 0. So if we have y equals 3x plus 10, let's make the y value 0. 0 equals 3x plus 10. Then let's solve for it, so let's move it over there. So that's going to be negative 10 equals 3x, then I divide by my coefficient, I'm going to get negative 10 over 3 equals x. Now that's an ugly number, but it's kind of about 3 and a thirds approximately. Negative 3 and 1 third equals x. So let's estimate it. So we go along our x, and we're going to go about, let's go about there. -ish. And then, we can insert a line, let's see if I can. 
Uh, where's my shapes? Where's my double ended line? There we go. Boom. And there's our graph that we made. So, for the slope from uh, slope intercept, I just took this here. I can just take that number, bring it over from my y intercept. We know how to do that. Then for the y part, we just plugged in a value, which is 0 for y, because we know that every time there's a y intercept, right, or every time there's an x intercept, the value for y is 0. So let's try this one. Now from view, there we go. So <clears throat> find the x and y intercepts using standard form. Well, we can't just pull a y intercept out of here. And I don't, and rearranging it would take too long. So let's just use, let's find our y intercept here. And what we know about the y-intercept, what's the value of x when the, at the y-intercept? So as, as it crosses here, what's the value of x all the time? Well, it's 0. So let's plug it in. Here's my original equation. Let's plug in that value. So 4 times 0 plus 5y equals 20. Well, 4 times 0 is just 0, so it disappears. 5y equals 20, divide by 5, divide by 5, y equals 4. Okay, so that tells me why y-intercept here is 4. So let's try to find our x-intercept. Well, at our x-intercept, what's the value of y? Well, if you remember, the value of y at our x-intercept is 0. So let's go and plug it in. So 4x plus 5 times 0 equals 20. 5 times 0 equals 0. So 4x equals 20. Divide by my coefficient. And x equals 5. So I can go here on 5, and then I can graph it. I have two points I can hook up. Insert, shape, shape, and there we go. There's my graph for that line. So I found my y-intercept, found my x-intercept, plotted those two points where they occur, and drew my line. And realistically, finding your slope for this would be pretty easy. It's 4 up, 5 across. Last one. I feel like my videos are getting quicker and smaller, which some of you might appreciate. Let's go to review here. So, here's another one we got. So let's take a peek here. Let's find, we don't want to rearrange it, it just takes too long, right? But let's find our y-intercept. So y-intercept, my value for x at the y-intercept is going to be 0. Of course, that jumps all the way up there for no reason. It's going to be 0. So all I need to do is I'm going to plug in that value into my equation. So 3 times 0 minus 6y equals 18. Well, that's going to equal 0, so I have negative 6y equals 18. Whenever I'm left with this, I divide by my coefficient. Why I wrote 3 is I'm getting ahead of myself. In my head, 6, negative 6. These cancel out, give me y, and this will be negative 3. So I can plot that. It's my x. Good. Then my x-intercept, y is going to equal 0. So 3x minus 6y equals 18. 
then I go 3x equals, oh, sorry. Once again, jumping ahead of myself. Minus 6 times 0 equals 18. I get 3x equals 18, because that's going to equal 0, so it just disappears. Divide by my coefficient, x equals 6. Draw my line there. Then I can insert my shape. And there is my line. And this here is really easy now to get my, that's my review. I could pull from this quite easily my M and my B to write my line. So my B is negative 3. My M is up 3 over 6. 3 over 6, which would equal a half. So my equation for this line would be half x minus 3. Perfect. And that's it for today. Uh, we have a couple questions to do and then a little assignment um, over the last three days. I think I'm just going to give you one question per item. Okay, and have a great day.